Hi, I'm Robert with BTOD TV, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to attach your thumb wheel arms on your Herman Miller Aeron Classic chair. In a previous video, we showed you how to remove your arms and briefly put those arms back onto your Aeron, but in this video, we're going to go into a little more detail on the exact parts of the arm and the procedure for reattaching it to your Aeron chair. The first step in reattaching your arms is gonna be removing the back from your chair, which you need to remove these four bolts. I'm gonna be using a power drill, but you can also do it by hand. Before I get into installing the arms, I'm gonna show you all the different parts that go inside the arm assembly here. So first of all, we have this nylon nut that's gonna go right inside the arm frame. So that fits right inside there. Can be a little tricky to get it in. Okay, that fell in. And then we have our thumb wheel. Next is a bearing that fits right inside there. And then a washer that goes right on top. Now that washer is gonna to go towards the inside of the chair, okay? So when I put it inside here, it's gonna be facing towards what would be the inside of the chair. Next is this bushing that can only go one way. It fits right on top of the arm frame. And then finally, we have our spring assembly. And then there's a steel plate here and the bolt that holds us all together. So right here is gonna be where your swing arm or your chair frame is going to go. So as I just showed you, I already have that nylon nut in place inside the arm assembly. This bushing is sitting right here. Slide the wheel again with the washer facing towards the inside of the chair. I'm just gonna hold that all together while I bring it up against the swing arm. Just holding it all. And then on here, the bolt already has that spring and the plate. Line this up and just screw it on while I hold the wheel so it doesn't spin. Okay, and I'm gonna be using a T27 Torx bit here to tighten this up. I want it to be tight enough to hold itself in place. So now when I use the thumb wheel to loosen it up, about four turns, I can easily slide the arm up and down. And then I can re-tighten. Again, you want it to be about four to six turns. Now it's locked in tight, so that arm is not going down even when I put my weight on it. Loosen it up. And freely move it down, lock it back in place and our arm is installed. One thing to be careful of when you're installing these arms is you don't want to tighten this too tight to the point where I'll show you. Now, it is very difficult for me to unlock this arm and slide it. I want to have this at the right tension where when I lock it with about four turns, it'll lock in place, you can unlock, slide it up, and relock it and it'll hold. So now that we have our first arm assembled, we're gonna move on to the next arm. So I'm gonna start by having my nut already inside the arm assembly. Then I'll show you I have the bearing going into the thumb wheel and then the washer. That's gonna slide again into the arm assembly with the washer facing towards the inside of the chair. Next, I'll put that bushing right on. Then we slide this into the swing arm, hold it all together, grab your bolt that already has the steel plate and the spring. So I'm gonna make sure everything's lined up and that bolt goes right through the thumb wheel and into the nut. Now you need to hold that thumb wheel as you tighten this. I'm gonna switch over to my T27 Torx bit. I want this to be tight enough so that there's good tension to hold this arm on. 
Right now that arm is tight. I can loosen that thumb wheel a few turns. Slide the arm up and down. Again, it should take just a few turns to get that arm tight. And you can put your weight on there and that arm is not going anywhere. I'll show you again, loosen it up. We have two arms. Our final step is gonna be putting our back back on. So slide that into place. And then we'll use our four bolts. And I'll be using my 3 16th hex bit to tighten this up. I'm gonna tighten these by hand just to be careful so that I don't over tighten when I put them on in case I ever need to go back and take this back off. And that's all there is to installing the thumb wheel arms on your Herman Miller Aeron Classic chair. If you have any more questions about this, please drop them in the comments below. And if this video helped you out, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We got a lot more chair content coming your way. Thanks for watching.